Hi everyone, it's Nicole and Nikki. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. It's Wednesday. And today I'm bringing you a video because I wasn't able to yesterday. And um, I'm gonna bring you a look. Uh, I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look on this sunset eye that I did. Sorry, my hair is in the way. So it's just beautiful yellows and oranges and pinks and purples. And so I'm gonna do this, recreate this look on this eye. My brows are already done and my, um, my primer is already done on my eyeshadow and my lashes. I just threw these lashes on. These lashes are giving me problems. But anyway, that's the look we're gonna recreate. I'm gonna recreate for you today. So let's get started. All right, let me pin my hair back. And is that good? Yeah. So I'm gonna be using this palette right here. This is the, I mean, it's, this palette is so jacked up. I don't know if you can really see how jacked up this palette is, but it's one of my favorites. It's an all matte. 24 palette by Beauty Treats. And I got this from the Beauty Supply, I don't know, maybe about two years ago. I lost the top, but it's like one of my favorite beauty palettes. So, because it's, they're all mattes and they have so many different colors in it. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna use my Sigma Taper Blending Brush, my E40 brush. And I'm going to go into this yellow right here. Tap, tap, tap. And then I'm gonna put that right above my crease. And I hope the music is not too loud. I don't even know what station this is. I don't know. So yeah, and so I'm putting this right over the crease. And these colors, even though you have to build them up, they are pigmented, um, which I like. And I'm gonna go back and forth between colors um, throughout the tutorial, because you do have to build these up. Okay, next color, and they're so powdery. The next color I'm going to is this pretty orange. And that's gonna go right in the crease. So I put the yellow right above the crease and I put the orange in the crease. And I'm just, just making sure the color is distributed nice and even. Yeah. Right into that crease. I hope everyone is having an amazing week so far. Um, it's, the weather's supposed to be beautiful here in the uh, DC metropolitan area this week, so. Starting, I think, tomorrow, going back into the orange. Um, so it's gonna be in the 70s, which I think we deserve, so. Oh, and if you're interested, I'm going back into the pink. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going into the pink. I did the orange. Now I'm putting the pink right underneath that orange. So I'm still staying in that crease. You know what, I don't know if this light is too bright. I got a couple, I tried different lightings today. And I'm gonna use this one. I think this one is too bright. Okay, there we go. I think that's better. Yeah, so we're going back into the pink. And again, what I'm doing is building up color. And I know I'm losing some of the yellow now that, I'm, now that I went into the pink and the orange, but I'm gonna go back into it. I'm just cleaning my brush off on a napkin. Going back into the yellow and putting that above the crease because I don't wanna lose that color. And um, eyeshadow is all about building colors. Building, building, blending, building, blending. It's always easier to add color than it is to remove it. So it's always best to start with a minimal amount of product and then work your way up. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna use my NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and I'm putting that on my mobile lid because I want this color that I put on my lid to really pop. And I'm blending that out with my finger. And I, again, I'm just putting that on the mobile lid. That's all. Cause this is gonna be the star of the show, which is gonna be a pretty purple. So now I'm going in with a flat shader brush. I got this from a kit, I don't know. You can use any flat shader brush. And I'm going into this pretty deep purple here. And I'm gonna put that all over, I'm patting that all over my lid. Ooh, my camera is shady. You lost some of that. I lost some of that footage, but ugh. camera is shady. Nonetheless, going back into the paint, building that up. Sorry about that, guys. And see how the colors are just blending nice and pretty together. And I'm building up that purple a little more. I don't know why we make faces when we do our makeup. It's just easier if you're like. Why, I don't know. Going back into the orange. Again, I'm just going back and forth between the orange and the pink to blend in the purple so the edges are not harsh. And now I'm going back into the yellow to tie the look together. 
and the yellow I put above my crease so that they all just kind of blend nice and evenly together. Yes. Yeah, I think that's pretty good right there. Yeah. See that nice blend? See how the yellow blends into the orange and the orange blends into the pink and the pink, pink blends into the purple and we're in business. Okay, now I'm gonna use my favorite new mascara which is by, who's this by? Mm. L'Oreal, it's the Luminous Lash Paradise. This is the dupe for um, Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, Mascara. Too Faced Mascara, I think is like 25 bucks. This is like 10, it's everything. So look, the, the brush is the same, the handle. And I just put a little bit, I'm not gonna use eyeliner today because I don't want eyeliner to take away from the actual shadow look, this nice pretty sunset. And I'm putting a little bit of Duo Glue on the back of my hand. And the lashes I'm using are by OG Lashes. These are the number 31 lashes. I like them because they're nice and fluffy. So I put a little bit of glue along the lash line. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope so. Just a little bit along the lash line. I'm trying to think, did I take the glue off of here from last time? I hope so. So while that's drying, I'm going to use my little brush I got from a kit. This is, um my one of my favorite brushes to do my inner corner highlight right there to open my eye up. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm going into the summer, the color called Summer. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in my inner corner. See how that makes your eye pop? Yeah, and this opens your eye up. You know, I live for this, opening the eye up. Yeah. So while my lashes are still drying, I'm going back into my Jumbo NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And I'm gonna line my waterline. And you can use white or black, but white opens your eye up. White eyeliner, just opens that up. Do that, that looks kind of cakey. But we're gonna fix that with the mascara. And again, my lash is still drying. And I just take my mascara and wiggle it along my bottom lash line. I should have did this after I smoked out my bottom lash line, but Whatever. If you're wondering what kind of lipstick I'm wearing, I am wearing my ColourPop lipstick. Um, I lined it on the outside with the color Chaps, which is a deep purple. I didn't have, I don't have that with me. And the inside with um, ColourPop Trap. And they're both um, from their matte lip collection. All right, let's take our lashes. I'm taking on my tweezers now, and I'm grabbing my lashes, and I'm praying that they go right on and not give me any problems today, because they don't want to do that. And I just lay them right in the center. And they're not dry yet, so we're gonna move on. Let me love, smoke out my bottom lash line. Uh, I'm gonna go into all the colors I used up top down the bottom. So I'm gonna go into this pretty orange first. Run that along my bottom lash line. Then I'm going into this pretty pink. Cause I wanna just kind of wrap it around, like bring it around from the top down to the bottom. And I'm going, now I'm going into this pretty purple. And bringing that right down the bottom too. So again, uniformity is the key. Whatever you do up top, you want to do down the bottom. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this yellow. You may not be able to see this on camera, but it, it does. It, bring, it blends everything together when you do that. Yeah, there we go. Now let's try this lash situation one more again. And again, I set it right in the middle. Yes, it's nice and tacky. And I tack it on to the end, making it, I'm placing it as close to the lash line as I possibly can. The mascara just kind of grabs the lash for me. So it sits right in place. There we go. And I'm just, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We got a situation. I should have held that there for a couple of seconds. Are we gonna stay? We are gonna stay. Yes, I like that. All right, so we got the lash on. We got the mascara on. We got everything on. My eye is running in the inside. I don't know why you're, me, my nose runs and my eyes water every time I do my makeup. I don't know if it's the products, I would assume so, but yeah. And that completes it for this 
pretty sunset eye look. Oh, does it look uniform? I think it does. This is one of my favorite looks. It's nice and simple, and I just think it's beautiful, especially with the springtime. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And gentlemen, because some gentlemen like shadows, too. Um, I will see you next week. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed week. I love you. Mwah.